everybody! Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I curl my pixie haircut. Um, and to get started, there's a few things you'll need. I curl my hair with a flat iron. You can also use a one or a one and a half inch curling iron. It will work just fine. I prefer to curl my hair when it's like two to three days dirty. When my hair is just a little bit dirty, I do use a dry shampoo. I've been using um, just the suave dry shampoo because I've heard a lot of people say that they like it. And I do like it in the terms that it works. I don't like that it dries your hair out so much. Just so you know, I prefer Dirty Secret by Bedhead over this swab. So I use a little bit of the dry shampoo on the roots, especially when I need a retouch as bad as I do right now. It just kind of helps disguise the regrowth a little bit and uh, absorb some of that oil that takes place after two to three days of not washing it. Um, more importantly than the dry shampoo to me is this um, Spoil Me, and this is from Bedhead as well, and it's basically a, like a defrizzing and a smoothing um, hairspray. It basically just rehydrates the hair and kind of gives it nice, a nice clean feeling to it. So um, after I use a dry shampoo, I definitely follow up with this just because that dry shampoo dries out the hair quite a bit and this brings back some of that hydration. So I do the dry shampoo on the roots and then this, this spoil me on the end. And you can just let it sit for just a second while it absorbs and dries off a little bit. Another thing you can do if you don't have spoil me is like a gloss drop. Um, one of my favorite is Shine Blaster by Rock, uh, Bedhead. So um, it's basically like a little serum and it adds a little bit of a protection to the tips of your hair against the heat of the flat iron or your curling iron and it also brings back hydration as well. Another thing you'll want or need is a clip to kind of section off your hair and a comb if you want to smooth the hair before you curl it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and comb all the product through my hair and then I'm going to go ahead and part it. Okay. So I, I like to style my hair coming forward just so it frames my face um, and also that's kind of the way that my hair grows. So for a better style, I always recommend going with the growth pattern of your hair um, because then you're fighting less against your hair and it's fighting less against you. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to curl my hair going towards my face and you'll see me kind of pulling the flat iron towards my face as well while I'm styling. So take a section. And then the key to doing this is to always turn your iron. You don't want to just hold it there. You're going to get a crease. And then also to place the flat iron right at the base of your scalp. So that's where you're going to curl the most intensely. And then you're just going to pull straight down. So that you're not like basically creating like a really intense ringlet. You're, you're, you're keeping the ends just a little bit straight. And then I'm going to curl the next piece of hair the other way. So again right at the base of my head and then pull down like that and you can kind of see this hair a little bit it's just got a little bit of straightness on the end and when I'm curling my hair also um, now that it's a pixie I don't worry about including every single hair because then you're gonna get kind of like a helmet shape and so um, it's okay like I missed some of this underneath there that's fine you don't want to curl every single piece of hair because it will create more volume than you want so since I curled this hair going that way, I'm going to go ahead and do this one going forward. And on the bottom layer especially, I don't pull it up. I don't overextend it. When you overextend it, you're going to create a lot of volume. I don't want a lot of volume underneath because that's going to basically shorten the look of the length of my hair. So holding it downwards, I'm just going to curl tightly at the roots and pull straight down. And then you just repeat that on the second layer but going the opposite. So for example, in the back bottom layer, I had originally curled my hair going forward. I'm going to go ahead and curl it backwards and basically alternate what I just did with the first layer. And, but again, I'm angling the flat iron towards my hair. I mean my face. And 
And then you'll just continue to repeat that um, up the side until this side is done. And then you'll start over on this side from the bottom. And actually, I do a pretty dramatic part, so I'm pretty much going to leave it right there for now. And switch to the other side. Here's another example of how the ends aren't curled. They're not like a tight curl. It's just barely curled under at the ends. Okay. So this front part is kind of where the styling comes into play because the direction that you curl your hair is going to basically affect the look of the whole hairstyle. So I start in the back back here. And I take a little section from the back left and I'm going to curl it tightly going towards my face and straightening out those ends. Then I'm going to come the opposite way on the right side of my hair and curl it towards the other curl. Keeping those ends again kind of straight. And then I just kind of keep repeating that towards the front. And this is where I do like to overextend because I like a lot of the volume of my hair to be at the top. So again, I'm overextending right in here, and I'm holding the flat iron basically, or your curling iron, just flat against my head right at the roots, and getting it really, really tight in there. And then start to pull it towards your lower back. And then in here, this is the tricky part because everybody's hair is different and everybody's hairline is different. I find for myself the best thing to do is actually to reverse the curl and curl, instead of it curling towards my face, I curl it going backwards. So I'm going to take this piece right here and overextend it going this way. And then again, I'm going to curl my hair going backwards. And I only do this on that front part just because I like the way the finished curl looks when I, when I do pull it forward. The direction of the curl basically impacts the type of weight you're going to get. angled differently. So before I had the curling iron going straight like that, this time I'm going to have it go this way. Just at a slight diagonal. I want to make sure that I'm having, I have all my hair over directed. Right at the roots. And curl it going backwards, pulling those ends so they're just a little bit straight. And if you're using a dryer shampoo that dries out your hair, you just went over it with a flat iron, which is going to dry it out even more. So I definitely recommend going over it with, with like a, this is a shine spray. It's called Head Rush. And it's also by Bedhead. And you're just going to hit your ends with that. And I would do this while your hair is still a little bit warm so that your hair can absorb it. And this just puts, again, a little bit of hydration back into your hair. The back of my haircut is a lot shorter. 
I'm basically just going to attempt to do the same technique, which is curling it at the base only and then pulling it straight and alternating the direction of the curl I do. So curl the back as best as you can and as best as you can see. Use a mirror if you have one. And then for this top layer, I can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and face ramp. And just starting at the base of the hair and curling towards my face. So now all my hair should hypothetically be curled. I'm using my favorite new spray wax. Everybody, the Lanza spray wax has been discontinued, so it's really hard to find. But I really like Play Dirty spray wax. It's by Sexy Hair. So um, the key to this is it's very gritty. You don't want to spray it in your roots. You only want to spray it on the ends. So, like this. And you can kind of lift a little bit so you're getting underneath it as well. So the great thing about spray wax is it doesn't get crispy or hard, but it still has a, it, so it's really pliable and you can play with it a lot, um, but it still holds pretty well. Then you can use a tiny bit of hairspray. I don't like to use a lot. I don't like my hair to be crispy because I touch it so much. Um, and I know that with hairspray, if you spray your hair and then you run your fingers through it, you're basically undoing the hairspray. It only has hold one time. So um, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. And a lot of times when you mix this with the spray wax, it kind of makes like an in-between concoction. So it'll give it a little bit more hold and flexibility with the spray, when you mix it with the spray wax. And that, my friends, is basically how I do my little so-called curled type of hairstyle. And I really like it because I can sleep on it and for the most part it looks somewhat the same. It's a bit messy and tousled. My bangs tend to get flatter uh, quicker, so if they are the next day, then I can just kind of twist it a little bit and put a pin in it like that. And then you have kind of like a little rockabilly hairstyle as well, or like a faux hawk. So um, it's a fun hairstyle. I think it's really playful, and I really like it for summer. And like I said, I like to use it to kind of get more days out of my hair before I have to wash it again. Hopefully it's what you guys wanted. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me and share this video with a friend or subscribe to see more of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching.